Are you buying a transformer to power a variable frequency drive? If you are, stop what you're doing and watch this video first. Standard isolation transformers are not made to handle the overload a VFD creates. Instead, what you need is a drive isolation transformer. Today we're talking drive isolation transformers. What they are, what they do, and what makes them different from standard isolation or just K-rated transformers. First, what is a drive isolation transformer? Well, they're transformers specifically designed for motor drive applications. That's where the drive part of the name comes from. Motor drives change the speed of a motor by adjusting the voltage or frequency. They do this by converting AC to DC and then back to AC. While this makes your motor more efficient, it also creates power quality issues. Voltage swells and sags are common in this type of system. These can cause unwanted ground currents and mode noise, which can mess up the transformer. So how does a drive isolation transformer solve these problems? First, there's the isolation. An isolation transformer separates the primary side of the transformer from the motor drive, meaning that there's no electrical connection between the windings. This means unwanted ground currents are limited to the motor drive circuit and it prevents these voltage disturbances from traveling upstream to the power source. Now you may be thinking, doesn't a regular isolation transformer do that? Well, there's two key differences. First is KVA ratings and second, is the loading profile. Drive isolation units have KVA ratings sized to match standard motor horsepower ratings. For example, seven and a half horsepower is 11 KVA and 50 horsepower is 63 KVA and so on. So regular isolation transformers don't come in these non-standard KVAs since they're not designed for motor drives. And as for loading profiles, drive isolation units are designed to handle temporary overloading, which can happen during motor startup. They can handle 150% overload for 60 seconds and 200% overload for 30 seconds. And a standard isolation transformer just isn't built for this and could fail prematurely. Lastly, let's clear one thing up. A drive isolation transformer is not the same thing as a K-rated transformer. DITs have 100% rated neutral, while K-rated units have a 200% rated neutral to handle triplet harmonics. Also, E-shields are optional on drive isolation units, uh, but standard in any K-rated unit. So we'll cover K-rated transformers in depth in a future video, but suffice it to say, they're related, but not really the same thing. At Maddox, we keep drive isolation transformers like this one in stock and ready to ship. You can order yours today. Just click the link in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next tech tip video.